What up, everybody? We're going to play pretty crazy. We're going to play some Mono Black Devotion in Historic on MTG Arena. So I talked to Rob about this. I was like, how come, man, you got Grey Merchant, you got Phyrexian Obliterator? How come how come uh, Mono Black Devotion isn't a thing in uh, in Historic? And Rob was like, it, it kind of was, but like it was, just wasn't good enough. It was too slow. And I was like, okay, well, that sucks, but, you know. I think if you go a Yara into Nightmare Shepherd into Grey Merchant, like you kind of just win, right? Because then you sacrifice. Like, so they take one from these two entering play, so that's two. The Grey Merchant is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven at least. You sack Grey Merchant after the trigger, he comes back as a one, one. That's another seven, plus eight from it coming to play. So, it's, what is that? Eight plus seven plus two. Is that 17 damage right there? Anyway, I don't know if the deck's going to be good right because it could be too slow i haven't played a single game of historic but we'll see gonna have some fun with it for agonizing Roars, rob swears by historic he says it's real fun right now because there's a lot of unexplored cards the other card i really want to play uh, play with and build with is um the horse the horse that gains you life and makes other horses so we have one mask worm three Vraska's contempt three ashok four noxious four um, agonizing remorse our main deck is four thoughtsies uh, four Pack Rat, four Gift Data, they're born. Four Yarox Fendler, it's double black, and it makes them exile a card. So if you go Thoughtseize Yarox, it's pretty pretty decent. We have four, three Ayara, she is legendary. Four Arena, three Murderous Rider, two Nightmare Shepherd, uh, four Obliterator, and four Grey Merchant. And then we have three Castles and a Swamp, so. Oh man, Dark Ritual would be, would be bonkers. This is my first game of Historic, yes. Come on, we know it's Great Merchant. Traditional Historic Ranked. Let's do it. I have no idea how this deck's going to play. It could be terribly. We could get utterly steamrolled. And you know what? I accept that. Um, yeah, I'll keep this. I do like the addition of uh, Phyrexian Arena over Underworld Connections, which was in the old. Sure. Yeah, I feel like most decks are ramp decks that are ramping into like Field of the Dead. Okay, that's fascinating. Now the question is, do we play Pack Rat and try to keep ratting? Or do we just play Gifts of the Other One? I think we're in a rat situation, right? I mean, I'll also block if they want to attack, so. Oh, that's pretty good. No, that's pretty good. That's really sweet. Yep, that's fucking insane. Well, that's vomitous. Three, four, five, six, seven, huh? No attacks. Boy, I kind of wish I played Gifted the other morning instead. See, this is just me not knowing what I'm playing against. No blocks. Wow, two Tempered Seals and a Locked Wayne Gargoyle. So we take... Uh, yeah, I'm just going to concede here. That's pretty wild. All right. So... Things that are too slow. Arena's pretty slow here. Fenlurker, pretty slow. Let's bring in... Agonizer Remorse and probably Noxious Cry. It doesn't have any white creatures, right? So it doesn't really do anything. 
Three Vraska's Contempt. Shatterstorm? Yeah, I'm in. God, Mask Room doesn't even do anything here. I clicked play first. Uh, Mulligan. Yeah, I'll keep this hand. We can ship a land here. Ornithopter, Stone Coil, Steel Overseer is probably the best card in your hand. I mean, all that glitters is also pretty annoying. This deck is wild. All their creatures have zero attack. Oh, they just lose. Okay, cool. Sounds good. Um, let's get another pack route for a for Fenlurker, I guess. And we have four Thoughtseize and four Agonizing Remorse. Like, we just want to hit their Steel Overseers. Well, Sand's not going to do it. And that hand will. Uh, we can probably get rid of A4 Drop. These are all pretty bad. Unbreakable pumps the team. So we will avoid that. The card that makes it so creatures can't have counters, Solemnity. Yeah. What Hat Life said. Alright, that's pretty good. I'll take two. Is there a creature that does it? I actually don't know. I mean, I actually feel like we're winning this game, ironically. I mean, next time we go Obliterator, and if we draw land, we go Merchant for four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I feel like once we play Obliterator, the game's probably over, right? I may have made that up. Uh, no, I think Malira doesn't let you have... I don't know, actually. I forgot what Malira's wording is. You got it. And concede. <laughs> okay. Well. I don't think I like Yarok's Fenlurker as a two-drop. I just don't think it does enough on the board. I don't even find, like, Rat Pack. However, did not go terribly. Two mana. Collected and not collected. Hmm. Undefeated and historic. I should concede now. I should be like, I'm done. I mean, Yarrick's Fenlurker is just better than Burglar Rat, right? 
exiles the card. Stays gone forever. I really like Packrat. I think it's just a good card, but I don't know if that's this is the place for it. Now reassembling skeleton. Now that's where we want to be. I wonder if Timurit's pretty good. We can put three Timurits instead of pack rats. I mean, exiling something from the graveyard like a Euro seems pretty good. Oh man, you guys remember Walk the Plank? This card is good. It kills basically everything, except for it's a sorcery. That's like really the only main malfunction of the card. I could be interested in cutting Fenlurker for something, but I have no idea what. Fiend Artisan. I kind of like Fiend Artisan here. I mean, we don't have a ton of cards in our graveyard, but like being able to sacrifice something. I mean, I might like Fenlurker better than Freebooter. I don't know. I don't know if it's correct. But I just really don't like Freebooter, so. Wait, why is this? Interesting. I'm like, why is this here? One more Gary in the main. You can't have five. They don't let you have five. Believe me, I'd, I'd have five if I could. Well, see, if you didn't see the four, you thought I had one Gray Merchant, and that'd be pretty wild. I think I think Mono Black Devotion is actually trash if you don't have four Gray Merchants. So that's kind of funny. What was the other card I just talked about? Blacking out. Oh, Fiend Artisan. If I take one Fenlurker out and put two Fiend Artisans in the deck. That's interesting. <laughs> I wish Bad Moon. That would be fantastic if Bad Moon was legal and friggin' historic. Um, I don't know how many, like, low-to-the-ground aggressive decks there are in the format like there was, like, the previous deck. So it's hard to be like, do I put Languish in here? Do I put like Cry of the Carnarium? I do not want Blood Moon. 
The fewer formats I have to play with Blood Moon, the better. Nope, that ain't gonna do it. Yeah, that's better. Could probably ship a land here. Is that greedy? I was thinking of Dread Presence, but it's three mana, and we don't really have an engine to like pump it a bunch other than our mana. Like, I think I'd rather just have another Ayara. I wanna put this guy back. kick the land they say exile a card from your little hand Nice. Oh man, if they take risk factor. Active treason. Okay. I'm also gonna go land risk factor. I mean, I'll take four here. <laughs> Have risk factor deal four damage to you? Yes. I cannot, oh Jesus. I cannot envision the world where I take, uh, where I let you draw three cards. Did you draw a lightning strike? That'd be good. Yeah, seems fine. I mean, I just like Eldritch Reborn in general, but in a matchup like that, oh my fucking god, are you serious? This is terrible because I can't even like dump my hand. Wow, I wish I just kept the four drop and pitched a land. I mean, 100% blocking whatever they attack with. Yeah, not close. Must be nice. Obliterator? <sighs> Amazing. Fantastic client.
sure. Any thoughts to pack right going back to the old Arthur? I don't know what that means. Oh, I already had pack right in the deck. I took it out. So I guess yes would be the answer to your question. It's just too slow. With the exile, flame of killed. Interesting. Did they play their land before playing light up stage? That's pretty bad. I mean, I guess you could just do it next turn. Actually, Timurit's pretty decent against their like things like risk factor. Maybe those guy four. I mean, if we can hit a land here, we get to go for X and Obliterator, which is a pretty big deed. never giving you four cards. I feel like they're gonna lightning strike her. They have five cards in hand, that's a good amount. Hmm. Do I care if they just shock her? Deal with this. <laughs> Kerwood, have a good night, buddy. Appreciate you, my dude. Oh, just lightning strike my face, huh? Hokey dokey. Oh, and a light up the stage. Mm 
strong mom sitting here. Oh, Nightmare Shepherd seems friggin' great. They go shock us, they got 11. This is also seven damage. This feels correct. Like, I just go to 15 and they have no blockers. Sure. Well, you're dead though, right? Okay. I think Thoughtseize is just good. Like getting rid of a permanent creature for two, two life is pretty fine. I mean, we can also just Windmill Slam Murderous Rider for as a 2-3 with lifelink, which I think is also fine. I mean, this does a pretty good job of dismantling their hand. Take a bit of damage, but that's okay. I mean, being able to get rid of Gutter Snipe and Experimental Frenzy here seems pretty good. Gutter Snipe seems pretty obnoxious. So they're on the play. Next turn might be Thoughtseize Fiend Artisan. Oh, they got rid of the Experimental Frenzy. Wow, that's pretty sweet. Now I feel better about playing Ayara, because I don't care about... Unless the other card they drew is Experimental, but then they have their two lands away. So... I'm not super concerned. No blocks. Well, hmm. Yeah, I think we're just playing Fiendars and they have double lightning strike, so. Oh, risk factor is annoying. But they don't have land for it. I'll just take a lightning strike here. Kill this guy. Okay. Alright, 
so four, eight, nine, ten. I mean, you just have shock in hand, so I'm just really not willing to give you a shock. I actually think Aetherborn's better here. Eh, no attacks. So, like, if they can go... Yeah, they kind of have to do that. And we're just going to block now. I don't have any any real use for this. Actually, staying at 7 seems fine. Now, plus, we can pump Fen Fenlurker and block. And they're in, a, they're in a mana situation where, like, they have to actually, uh... If they play Risk Factor, they can't also... Oh, Jesus fucking... Was that three lightning strikes? Must be fucking nice. <sighs> Gets that guy off the board. Can I draw one Grey Merchant? That'd be great. against the mono red deck. Nope. Taken four. Okay. That's not terrible. It does put us out of fourth lightning strike range. Plus, if they kill AR, we get an AR back. Okay. Well, Grey Merchant one time. One. Fraxine Obliterator. Well, we go to two. So, if they have Shock, we can sack Obliterator, make a copy of Obliterator, draw a card. Not terrible. Okay. Four, five, six, seven. Still lethal on board. That's pretty good. Wow, <laughs> that was gas. That was gas. I, I, Ayara and Nightmare Shepherd doing doing some heavy lifting. <sighs> that was pretty decent. Are we 2 0 with this mono black deck? Wow, we played around the shock, and they had the shock. Hmm. Timur was good. Fiend Artisan would have been good had we uh, still have yet to draw Phyrexian Arena or Grey Merchant. I almost kind of like Grim Dancer. Give it lifelink and menace. It just seems decent if this format's going to be super aggressive. Uh, I, Whip of Erebos is not in this format, I believe. Is one Lurus any good? And you can get back either Warren Timurite, Yarak, or Fiend Artisan. Does not seem terrible. And he has lifelink? No, just put the deck, put the card in the deck. Uh, I'm just going to take out one murderous, take out one Frick Sandrine, actually. Yeah, that seems good. Mm 
If I could be guaranteed to draw three lands in a row. Solid draw. Golden years. Okay. Where my Gary at? Was this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine? If we hit Gary, they have two unknowns. Yeah, Obliterator. That's a scary, dude. I guess they have a counter spell. No, they do not. They're just scrying to see if they're dead. I mean, Languish doesn't kill everything. Ritual of Soot doesn't kill everything. Okie dokie. Oh, they did. I took out a Rider. Obliterator. One Timoret. Three of these guys. We didn't see much. I think I do want all four of the Agonizing Remorse. They gotta have win conditions in their deck, right? I'll take a gift to the other one out. That guy seems not super relevant. Uh, I think we snap keep this. Any one land in the next three turns lets us play Arena. Nailed it. Uh, Thought Erasure seems great. Flame Sweep, what does that even do? All of our guys are like two threes. That's weird. It doesn't kill... It doesn't kill Aetherborn, it doesn't kill Ayara, and it doesn't kill... Wow, that was a good draw too. I feel like Arena is going to be MVP here, but I'm no expert. Solid. So now we're almost guaranteed to hit a land for Obliterator. Almost being the keyword, guys. Seems fine. So they have Sulphur Falls Flame Sweep. Just fine. Okay. Seems good. Almost guaranteed, he says. Castle of Antris is kind of awkward, though. It does give them decent options okay well I don't know these 
countering things like my two threes don't seem that great, but. Wow. That's pretty uncanny. Six draws, no lands. Sometimes you just don't hit lands, I guess. Did you get another Sinister Sabotage? Okay. Guess we're resolving this guy at least. Seems good. Okay, still your hand is pretty meh. Okay, we hit a land. Now you're gonna give me two. I get it. I'm just gonna play Nightmare Shepherd because if they do want to flame sweep, like we just get to get another Fenlurker. Grey Merchants, like a million. So one, two, three, four. Yeah, six is a lot. No, it's gonna be eight because of the Grey Merchant himself. Well, that's pretty wild. So this is five. How greedy can we be? I have Flame Sweep and one other card. Flame Sweep actually only kills Yarrick's Fenlurker. So I actually don't know if they should have brought this in, but it looks like we're going to be 3 0 with our Mono Black Devotion deck. I mean, Double Arena is pretty dangerous, but we're also just counteracting it with our Gifted Aetherborn and our Double Grey Merchants. Gotta have a counter spell for this guy. What is that number fucking four? <laughs> Jesus. Just three, I guess. Okay. I guess we do three for Xian Arenas, but we've also been drawing three cards a turn. So. There's a point where they drew more sinister sabotages than we drew lands, so that's kind of funny. I mean, this is lethal on board, right? No, because if we pump once in response to us pumping again, they just kill it. I guess we'll just attack here. Golden years. Okay. So it would have been 10, 12, 12 damage from Grimmer Trim. I don't know, this deck seems fun. Stop highlighting white and blue because I have Luris and the other dude in here. Oh, you got green too? What's green? Oh, so they're highlighting green for this guy, white for this guy, and blue for Ashiok. That's pretty hilarious. What else makes them discard? Is there any like good creatures that are like discard a card? <laughs> Hypnotic Spectre. That's interesting. Give me an opponent to discard a card and draw a card and lose a life. I mean, I wonder if we could just make this tiny bones. We can just make tiny bones and then just have a discard theme. Hmm. <laughs> I really actually like Liliana's Reaver a lot. I think this card is super cool. If you can clear out the way for it. Like they they deal if whenever they deal damage they discard a card and make you make a two two zombie like it just seems very very sweet. I mean burglar rat's just worse than Yarox Fenlurker and we only have three Fenlurkers so I would just sooner put another Fenlurker in the deck. It's better for devotion. It's just a better creature because it pumps and it exiles the card. So 
Like it's just better on every metric. I wonder if Rankle. I like Nightmare Shepherd has been pretty good. Hmm. I don't want to discard cards myself. I just want to make them discard cards. You know what I mean? I think Liliana's Reaver is pretty fun. But I also do like the I like the configuration now, so I'm just gonna keep I'm gonna keep devoting them. Whatever that means. Tendrils? Legal. Oh, interesting. I didn't know tendrils of corruption was even legal. That's wild. No, I could definitely see it against the Malik Mono Red decks. Um, I like one, two, four, four. Yeah, this seems fine. We can try this. Cool, they're playing the, uh, let's get rid of Nyssa, because this guy costs five, so. In response, I'll crack Fabled Passage. Yeah, I like one, one or two tendrils on the sideboard. Play the Euro. I guess we're just having like Wrath of God here. Because then it would have been better to play Nightmare Shepherd. But then I guess we just get two one ones. Sure. Some zombies. Actually, do they have enough? No, they don't actually have enough deserts. I guess this deck doesn't even care about deserts. Oh, Field of the Dead, though. Yeah, that's a cool card. So you just get to kill both zombies. So they're just dead. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> yeah, don't block. Keep your zombies. 
That was incredible. Take out Alluris. Actually, Timoret seems great in this matchup. Um, Grasp also seems very good. Is Grasp just worse than Vraska's Contempt? Probably, right? Yeah, I'll keep this. Man. That fiend dude just actually just pulling out a Grey Merchant and killing him is pretty insane. That was a freaking amazing move. Ha! Huh. Oh, man. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, that's gasoline. Next time he gets to go to Merit and Thoughtseize. Wow, that was a that was a bananas play. Like you don't get to complain when you're playing the best deck in the format, right? Like So now they just get the untap and we get to play Obliterator. Let's see if they have an answer. Alright, got two cards to find an answer to this fat idiot. And of course they find one. <laughs> oh god. I feel like every game of magic I play is an uphill battle. Sure. You got it. So this is four five, this would be six. Why wouldn't this deck just play some play some desert so that you get the, the creatures out of this? So this is four, five, we have seven.
sure. The cards don't do much, but they're going through their deck pretty quickly. Okay, well, that's that's the end of that. Are we 4-0? We play Mono Red, the Grixis deck, this deck, and then some other deck before that, right? So it's 4-0, right? Oh, pestle and days. I feel like I mean I'm gonna be honest, the deck feels pretty sweet. I, I I don't think it's gonna hold up when it gets to the higher levels, but we just did beat one of the better decks in the format. Take grasp out. I wonder if like Soren's Thirst is just fine. Oh, let's put in one Tendrils. I kind of like that. Tendrils. Teedrils. We'll get it. Hey, we did it. I mean, I just don't love Rankle because I think the 4-4 is better. Like, when we sack a creature, we get to make another creature. Like, we can sack Grey Merchant with what they are and make another Grey Merchant. Whereas, like, Rankle's just like, okay, we both discard a card, but my deck isn't really geared towards discarding or sacrificing things without a reward. Uh, I don't uh, I don't know if I love demonic embrace here it could actually takes life right if it if it came like lifelink I'd be that's cool but again like we're not trying to like attack and and kill them in the like before they can do things we're just trying to like stall the game and, and rip apart their hand before we can start slamming obliterators and gray merchants so like it's just not our strategy I'll keep this hand. I mean, one, two, three, four, five. This is literally like the perfect hand if we can draw one land into arena and then like two more lands. Also, if you guys want to support the channel, definitely check out manatraders.com. They have an amazing subscription service uh, that I use for Magic Online. And uh, you can get 20% off the first three months of any subscription with the promo code RATTRAIN. And if you use the link down below in the description. So be sure to check them out. Everyone who has used them from the stream uh, thinks they're great. I among them. Is there a way to make your the default background, the default card sleeve? Because I remember I had to like assign it for each deck I play. Like if I make a deck, I have to assign this card sleeve. Is there a way to make it default yet or no? I actually don't know. Today, Junior. Oh, that's.
that's pretty sweet. I'll probably go change that then. Yes, yes you can. I don't think so. <laughs> well, there you go. There you go. I'm not on the play, right? Okay, just making sure. Jaylink's like, no, I don't think so, man. But they said you can. Yeah, I don't think so. Do you guys see that glitching? Is that like Magic Online? Or is that, a, is that MC Arena? Okay, Thoughtseize, Thoughtseize, Hazaret. Fascinating. I don't know how to get rid of Hazaret, I guess. But I think I'd rather have more control over my cards. I don't know. I guess we can block it if Timurek gets large enough, which they very well might. I don't know what what's what's the what the hold of this is taking a long time. Okay. Thoughtsies. You got it. Get you get your mystery doggo yet. I don't know what I don't know what that means. They're gonna take arena. I would take arena. They took Phyrexian a Blitz. I mean, that seems good. Landing an arena in, in a matchup like this seems pretty pretty bonkers. Do you guys see that glitching? Am I going crazy? Oh, they just played this guy as, as a man. Um, what do we have? So, 2-6. I'm okay with that. This guy's also going to be 8 next turn. Uh, no attacks. That doesn't do anything. Playing Arena. Arena. Did you get your mastery doggo yet? No, not yet. But you, you should know. You can actually like see it, right? I think they play Hazard right here, but it doesn't really do anything. They could also have another four drop. I don't know, man, you know? I mean, there's no reason not to take these out of the graveyard, right? They did not play Hazorite, which is very, very interesting to me. But they did keep four mana up. Okay, so now we're just going to go Thought Seize you. Show me what you've got. To set a sleeve as a default, you have to enter the deck builder, then go to the sleeve section. Then you choose the sleeves you want to use, and finally you press the default. You'll see it next to the friend's logo. It's now. Okay, cool. I appreciate it. Sure. Well, that's going to be awkward when I play Frix and Obliterator. Tiny Bones? Each opponent with no cards in hand? Yeah, we're definitely not going to have no cards in hand. 
All right, so next turn we just tend them. Seems good. Oh, wow, that's wild. Wildly unfortunate. I mean, Frex and Obliterator is still just a house, so. Plus he gets to draw two. One of them is going to be a Grey Merchant, right? We just have to be careful about uh, Tiny Bones. Okay, they're just playing Murderous Rider. Yara. Timurant number two. Well, keeping a card in my hand so that they can't tiny, but I guess they're not going to be able to do that. It's cost like six. They don't have six lands. Sure. I mean, the alternative to this was sack this guy, replay him, draw a card, and then we still have no mana. And, uh... Okay. But see, they're going to have to start blocking Obliterator. <laughs> Oh, this is interesting. I mean, I guess they have to because of Obliterator, so now they just get to take five. But also, like, we can just... Oh, they lose a life, too. That's pretty cool. Oh, Lurus isn't bad. Lurus can hit, like, Gifted Aetherborn. Surprisingly not bad. So they can go block here, block here, but then they just die to a Yara. So we're just gonna... So let's say block here, block here. They take five. I'm just attacking with these guys. They're at virtual five. If they, if they don't block the obliterator, they're dead, so. And our one of Luris doing the Lord's work. wild. Man, this deck has been fun, dude. Golden years. I gotta play Tendrils. I feel like it's just War of the Discards. <laughs> also, they have Croxus, so we're gonna leave the Timorets in. I'm gonna take out Murderous Rider. Bring an Agonizing Remorse. It's been fondue. Fond. Oh my god. Is that what it sounded like? This deck's been fondue. I mean, I feel like resolving a Frexian Arena against the discard deck is pretty, pretty, pretty baller. Yeah, I'll keep this. It's a little slow. Golden years. Fascinating. Davriel. Yeah, we're definitely taking that. I don't care about Hazard or Murderous Rider here. But I don't want to start discarding cards. And if you want to hit, like, Obliterator, that's fine. Three drop would have been nice. Or a two drop. A thing to play. Do you guys see this light show that's going on? Oh, no, I think it's on my end. That's interesting.
I'm just gonna play Nightmare Shepherd. I think having two obliterators is just better. And they're gonna they're gonna murder a Shrider this guy, which is fine. Gets it out of their hand though. Look at your boy. So we have five now, we can go just play obliterator. <sighs> like you do. A land would be nice, then we can go artisan obliterator. Hazard just seems like super weird choice. Yeah, that's pretty good. Two creatures. So obliterator. Fiend artisan. Yep. Well, this guy's a 4 4 now. So, you know, we got that going for us. They also have like four lands. So because we only have six, we can play a two drop and then we have four left over so we can only activate this for three, which is definitely not where we want to be. Um, but next turn we can activate it, get a Phyrexian Obliterator, we can get a Grey Merchant. Yep, that's fine. What does a Grey Merchant do here? One, two, three, four, five, six. This guy's got Death Touch. Yeah, we're definitely getting in there with this guy. They can double block if they'd like. Oh, wow. Sure. That's actually fine. Does it, does it trigger ability? Cause I, could I have exiled those in response? Um, is it five or four? I believe it's just four here. Yeah, we now we have eleven power on board, and a and a tendrils of corruption for six. <sighs> yeah, that sucks. Oh wow, I hope they attack. Oh my god, please attack. Sure. Seems good. Also, Castle Lockthwain is not a swamp, which is interesting. Because every other land in that set is a swamp. Witch's Haven or Coven or whatever that card is. Sure. God, the amount I care about Hazard right now when I have a Blitter Air on board is just. X damage to a creature. Yeah, okay. So. It's versus control. Yeah, that's not. That's not not target our obliterator guys <sighs> bone crusher giant sure okay I guess we're just racing but that's that's nice that's a nice little bonus If only tendrils could go to face, like actual corruption. Corrupt? Is it corrupt? I think it's corrupt. Hmm. 
sure. So you steal this guy. Oh, you're just gonna. Oh, you're just gonna attack. You're gonna attack both. Oh. Interesting. I mean, I'll miss him, but not enough to take, not enough to go to like two here, so. This is not in their hand. That's decent. Go to two. I feel like we just have to get rid of this, right? Five, they put us to. S this guy doesn't do anything, though, and it makes it really hard for them to attack next turn if they're at two. Like, we'll discard this, we'll go to five. We'll go to ten, and then we take five. So we go to five. They can discard two, one card. Yeah, I think we're just going face here. No fire. Mm hmm. I mean, you can block here, you have to lose five. You can just sack five lands, then you have a good blocker. But you're at two, so I guess we just tag with both. But then you're playing Bone Crusher Giant. But then she has, he has he has Trample, so you're taking one if you... You're just fuel for the fires of <laughs> okay. They don't have any cards in hand. These are some good draws on their part. Yep. That is unfortunate. That is amazing. <laughs> oh, kill ya. <laughs> I mean, we were due for a Grey Merchant. We hadn't drawn one. They drew more Angrass than we did Grey Merchant. I think we're like 5-0. Maybe 6-0? Does anyone know? Clash of Titans. Wait, did I get my dog? What if I did? Where is it? Did I get my dog? Okay, so I go to Dex. Let's go to Edit Deck, right? And then I get to go Card Backs. Okay. I feel like I just want oh make default beautiful oh wow this these birds are these are sick <clears throat> I don't even know what this one is Does anyone know what this is these are sick I think we're gonna go with cryptic command yeah update all the decks nice um I go profile how do I go to my pet Pet select. I did not get the hunter's hound. Oh, it's hunter. Oh, Gary, you got a sack full of biscuits and you're coming to town. It's true. It's true. I think we play one more round, but we're probably going to lose it. So, but boy, this has been an adventure, guys. Six, almost five or six, though. So far? I don't know, you guys tell me. Uh, 
Um, yeah, I'll keep this. Because if they kill this guy, I still just get to replay with Luris. Oof. Look at this creeper. With the, with the Rodney King hair. No, not Rodney King. Don King. Don King. Wrong King. No blocks. Uh, no blocks. You gonna pump this guy? Just take one. Sounds good. Oh boy, it's your friend. You got it. Boy, I hope you don't have an answer for this guy. That'd be super awkward. Hmm. 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 Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, fascinating. No blocks, man. I'll just take that because that's a reasonable thing to have happen. I like, what if we have one Chupacabra for the Fiend Artisan to find? I feel like that would be very good right now. Deal. No, they said no. They're like, I don't think so, bro. And I was like, okay. All right, so they're they're gonna swing for eight. Even if they pump their friend, it's only eight plus five, so it's only thirteen. And our board's looking pretty deep. Can you imagine if we draw a Green Richard next turn? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 12, 13 damage. Green Richard just wins games you just should not be winning out of nowhere. It's pretty wild. You got it. Enjoy your little peek, see? Uh, yep. Yeah. That was cool. <laughs> I liked that. Nightmare Shepherd keeps doing work. I, 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 I keep find I keep thinking like maybe this card's not good enough for the deck, but like it keeps doing great, great things. So if we alpha here, if they block two biggest, they take one, two, three, four, five six with this and then they die on upkeep right this guy doesn't have lifelink right no so i mean if they block here and here they take three four five six and then they just die so plus spawn of mayhem just kills them anyway so Oh, and Luris is just going to come back with Nightmare Shepherd because Nightmare Shepherd's a boss. I think our deck is pretty sweet, man. Um, let's take out the Fen Lurkers. Bring in some more. Bring in this. Bring in Tendrils. Bring in a Vraska's Contempt. Probably take out Arena for another Vraska's Contempt. I think this is okay.
Snap keep. Oh, we could have searched Grey Merchant. Yeah, that's true. Fiendard isn't actually like is very sweet. Knight thought sees. I don't think I care about Knight. We have gifted Aetherborn. I think Spawn is probably the scariest card here. Just because we can't deal with it right now. We have two, three two drops. So if they want to thought seize us, that's fine. We'll just play whichever one they don't use. And then they have one card in hand. Okay. You got it. My doodles. I guess we could have played Swamp so that we have one on oh, they didn't draw land. That's pretty good for us. Blame it on the rain. Yeah, don't thought sees me, bro. This guy becomes a 3-4? No, it becomes a 4-5. All right, well, I'm pretty sure you'll just do that. Yeah, okay. We can also sacrifice Timurant next turn to get Grey Merchant, which is like eight damage. Never mind. I mean, still, we still can. Well, now we're just gonna play this because the more the more we play, the better the the boy gets. The better the gray boy gets. Man, Fiendard has been doing some work, dude. Just being able to search out Phyrexian Metamorph for Phyrexian uh, Obliterator or Gray Merchant has been insane. I do like having one Ravenous Chupacabra in the deck somewhere, though. Uh, you know what? Three. So if you kill this guy, he becomes a 2-4, but you're not going to be able to pump as well. So I, I can't see any reason not to block here. Okay, so now it's a 5-6. And... Wait, what? Oh, because he gets Death Touch. I'm stupid. I'm not smart. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Mass Rankle? Rankle's pretty, pretty scary. Wow. The death touch. Yeah. The death touch. I have one, two, one, two, three, four. I think it's actually Murderous Rider. We can also activate this to gain some life. We're just kind of hoping they don't hit a land. Okay, they did. Wonderful. What? Wait, what are they asking me here? Are you sure? What? Are, wait, what's the question? Is it activating it? That's weird. Okay, well... Sack a creature. I mean, I'll sack Timurant if... Tendrils. Wow, that's, that's terrible. It's really bad. So we're basically dead. We just take three here. Wow, that's absolutely incredible. Cool. I 
I mean, I think that was just kind of like a fluke. We drew like no removal. We drew no murderous riders. We drew no Vraska's contempt. We drew no tendrils. See if we can keep our streak up. This hand seems really good with these two, but really bad with these. This seems much better, actually. Keep six. We're on the draw, or on the play, rather. I'm going to ship the four drop. I think it's better to have a Grey Merchant here. It's like we didn't even mulligan. Heartless act, get in for two. Sure. Come on, I are off the top. That'd be sick, right? No attacks, which means they probably Kill this and then attack four. That's good value. Amazing. It's like I should fucking quit magic and be a psychic. Where were you last turn when I had nothing to play? Don't know. Hmm. Well, we did not hit a land. Six, seven if they kill it. But I think it's important because I think we need to hit a land next turn. And also I'd like to play Luris and keep up um, and be able to play Gifted either one in the same turn. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, this guy's gonna hit me for five. They have like the stupid demonic card. It's really bad, right? Four. Oh, we have a blocker, I guess. Or we can just gain six. Nug them for six. Have good ground game. But putting two lifelingers on the board also seems pretty good. If they give this guy like demonic embrace, we have to chump. Demonic Embrace, is that what that card's called? I don't even know. You know what I'm talking about. I knew we were going to lose our last round. <laughs> there it is. Just that guy. And you're tapped out. We take one from this. Yeah, I'll go to two. Oh, should have just attacked with Nightmare Sharp. Now maybe we're at 11. I think chump blocking is where we want to be. If they alpha, we're definitely blocking with Grey Merchant. 
And then it comes back with Nightmare Shepherd, and that could kill them. I mean, even if they kill this, we can still go block here, block here. We take 10. And I don't first... Let me go to take one more. We go to 11. And, I, and we gain 3 from Luris. So, like, I don't foresee them having an out here. Yep. So they go to 2 now. Still don't see it. So they die to their own spawn if we can deal one point here. Oh, that's very good. Got him! Undefeated with mono black devotion, guys. Undefeated. Can't you Rider Gary? Uh, well, we just drew the Rider and Nightmare Shepherd's no longer on board. But yes, that is a play. If we have Gary on board. Or uh, Nightmare Shepherd on board. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on twitch.tv slash frankforemanitraders.com. Cool Stuff Inc. every Wednesday for new sweet articles written by yours truly. And uh, the deck list will be in the description below, so be sure to check that out. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.